Introduction Students, today we will study a new topic. Before proceeding further, tell me something about carbohydrates. Sir, it gives energy to our body. Good, Ravi. Carbohydrates are the major source of energy for our body in everyday life. Fruits, vegetables, milk, etc. are the major sources of carbohydrates. Sir, and what we get from the sunlight? Good question, Raman. We get vitamin D from the sunlight. It encourages the absorption and metabolism of calcium and phosphorus in our body. Sir, what happened if our body cannot get the vitamin D? Due to deficiency of vitamin D, many serious diseases can occur like rickets, obesity, heart disease or high blood pressure. Students, today we will study about all these topics in our chapter Biomolecules. Objectives At the end of this lesson, you will be able to define biomolecules, explain carbohydrates, classify carbohydrates, describe proteins, classify amino acids, know about structure of proteins, define enzyme, know about vitamins, classify vitamins and their deficiency diseases, and Describe structure of nucleic acid. Definition The branch of science that deals with the study of the chemical composition and the structure of living organisms and also various chemical changes taking place within them is called biochemistry. The complex organic molecules which form the basis of life, which build up living organisms and are also required for their growth and maintenance are called biomolecules. Biomolecules are related to the living organisms in the sequence living organism, organs, tissues, cells, organelles and biomolecules. The cell. The cell is the fundamental unit of life. It is too small to be seen with naked eyes. It can be seen with the help of a microscope. Cells are packets of chemicals essential for life. The cell has the ability to grow and divide to produce cells. These daughter cells can further divide to produce new progeny of cells. Cells may be combined to form tissues. Tissues may be grouped into organs and organs may be combined into organisms. A living cell contains about 50 elements. The most abundant substance in a living cell is water, which amounts to about 70% of the weight. In addition to water, the cell contains a large number of carbon compounds. Carbohydrates Carbohydrates constitute an important class of compounds like glucose, fructose, sucrose, starch, cellulose, etc. which play a vital role in our everyday life. Carbohydrates are defined as polyhydroxyaldehydes or polyhydroxyketones or the compounds which can be hydrolyzed to them. They are also known as saccharides. These are the ultimate source of most of our food. They are derived mainly from plants. The name carbohydrate was given to the compounds pertaining to general formula CXH2OY. Classification of carbohydrates Carbohydrates are classified into three major categories depending upon their behavior towards hydrolysis. Monosaccharides, oligosaccharides and polysaccharides. Monosaccharides 
these are simple carbohydrates which cannot be hydrolyzed to still simpler carbohydrates for example glucose and fructose oligosaccharides these are the carbohydrates which on hydrolysis give 2 to 9 units of monosaccharides they have subcategories depending upon the actual number of monosaccharide units formed by the hydrolysis of a particular oligosaccharide disaccharides give 2 units of monosaccharides on hydrolysis for example maltose and sucrose trisaccharides give 3 units of monosaccharides on hydrolysis for example raffinose tetrasaccharides give 4 units of monosaccharides on hydrolysis for example stachyose polysaccharides these are the carbohydrates which are polymeric molecules and can be hydrolyzed to give large number of monosaccharide units for example starch glycogen and cellulose monosaccharides monosaccharides containing aldehyde group are called aldoses while those containing ketonic group are called ketoses they can be further classified into different categories depending upon the number of carbon atoms monosaccharides with 3 4 5 6 and 7 carbon atoms are called trioses tetroses pentoses hexoses and heptoses respectively three main aldohexoses which occur widely in nature are d glucose d galactose and d mannose the letter d before the name of monosaccharides represents the configuration as derived from glyceraldehyde glyceraldehyde is represented by two enantiomeric configurations glucose C6H12O6 glucose occurs in nature in free state as well as in combined state in free state it occurs in sweet fruits and honey ripe grapes contain up to 20% glucose in combined state glucose is present in disaccharides and polysaccharides maltose and starch on hydrolysis yield only glucose the methods of preparation of glucose are following by hydrolysis of cane sugar it can be prepared by hydrolysis of cane sugar in the presence of alcohol using dilute hydrochloric acid glucose and fructose are formed in equal amounts glucose is less soluble in ethyl alcohol than fructose so it crystallizes out by hydrolysis of starch on commercial scale it is prepared by hydrolysis of starch by boiling it with dilute sulfuric acid at 393 Kelvin under a pressure of 2 to 3 bar chemical reactions of glucose the open chain structure of glucose contains one aldehydic one primary alcoholic group and four secondary alcoholic groups in fischer projection carbon atoms which are at the intersection of the lines are not shown with hydrogen cyanide glucose forms an addition product called glucose cyanohydrin glucose reacts with hydroxylamine to form corresponding oxime like aldehydes glucose reacts with phenylhydrazine to form phenylhydrazone it reacts with acetic anhydride to form pentaacetate which confirms that glucose molecule contains 5 hydroxy groups 
with mild oxidizing agent glucose is oxidized to gluconic acid with strong oxidizing agent glucose is oxidized to glucaric acid on reduction with sodium amalgam glucose is reduced to sorbitol a hexahydric alcohol when glucose treated with a dilute solution of an alkali it undergoes reversible isomerization to form an equilibrium mixture of d glucose d mannose and d fructose it reduces tollens reagent felling solution and benedict solution cyclic structure of glucose some evidence suggests that the open chain structure of d glucose exists primarily in equilibrium with two cyclic forms many reactions indicate the absence of cho group it is found to exist in two different crystalline forms which are named as alpha and beta the alpha form of glucose is obtained by crystallization from a concentrated solution of glucose at 303 kelvin while the beta form is obtained by crystallization from hot and saturated aqueous solution at 373 kelvin it exhibits muta rotation the change in specific rotation of an optically active compound to an equilibrium value is known as muta rotation these observations are attributed to the fact that sugars generally exist in the form of cyclic hemiacetal or hemiketal structures and only a very small number of molecules exist in open chain structure howard structures as a result of cyclization the enumeric carbon becomes asymmetric and the newly formed oh group may be either on the left or on the right in fissure projection this results in the formation of two isomers the isomers having the hydroxyl group to the right of c1 is designated as alpha d glucose the isomers having the hydroxyl group to the left of c1 is designated as beta d glucose the lower thickened edge of the ring in howard structure is nearest to the observer the groups to the right in fisher projection are written below the plane of the ring in the howard structure the groups to the left in fisher projection are written above the plane of the ring in the howard structure fructose fructose is a simple monosaccharide found in many plants it is one of the three dietary monosaccharides along with glucose and galactose that are absorbed directly into the blood stream during digestion it is found along with glucose in the juices of ripe fruits and in honey it is also called levulose because naturally occurring fructose is levorotatory in combined state it occurs in sucrose and polysaccharide called inulin on commercial scale it is prepared by hydrolysis of inulin with dilute h2so4 properties of fructose the important properties of fructose are following it also exists in two cyclic forms which are formed by reaction of oh and c5 to ketonic group at c2 the ring thus formed is a five membered ring and it has furanose structure it also shows muta rotation it is colorless crystalline solid and having a sweet taste it is more soluble in water and alcohol than glucose it also reduces felling solution benedict solution and tollens reagent disaccharides those carbohydrates 
which yield two units of monosaccharide on hydrolysis are called disaccharides. For example, sucrose yields alpha-D-glucose and beta-D-fructose on hydrolysis. This means that disaccharides are formed by condensation reaction between two monosaccharide units. Hemiacetals of monosaccharides undergo condensation between their OH groups with the elimination of water molecule. The bond which holds the monosaccharide units together is called glycoside linkage. All disaccharides are crystalline solid, soluble in water and fall into two classes. Reducing sugars If the reducing center of any monosaccharide unit is free, the disaccharide is reducing. And non-reducing sugars If the two monosaccharide units are linked through their respective carbonyl groups, the disaccharide would be non-reducing. Sucrose Sucrose is the most widely occurring disaccharide and is found in all photosynthetic plants. It is white crystalline solid and soluble in water. When heated above its melting point, it forms a brown substance called caramel. It is commercially obtained from sugarcane and sugar beets. When sucrose is hydrolyzed by dilute acids or enzyme invertase, it gives an equimolar mixture of D-glucose and D-fructose. Sucrose is dextrorotatory with specific rotation of plus 66.5 degrees. On hydrolysis, sucrose gives an equimolar mixture of dextrorotatory glucose and levorotatory fructose. The conversion of sucrose into equimolar mixture of glucose and fructose is accompanied by change in sign of optical rotation. Therefore, hydrolysis of sucrose is called inversion of sugar. The equimolar mixture of glucose and fructose is called invert sugar. Maltose when starch is hydrolyzed by the enzyme diastase, maltose is formed as one of the products. On hydrolysis with dilute acids, one mole of maltose yields two moles of D-glucose. Maltose is a reducing sugar. In maltose, the two D-glucose units are linked through alpha-glycosidic linkage between C1 or 1-glucose unit and C4 of the other. It tastes sweet and it is not found freely in nature. It has the ability to reduce the felling solution due to its free aldehyde. The aldehyde group is oxidized giving a positive result which means that the maltose is soluble in water. In aqueous solution it exhibits muta rotation. Lactose Lactose is a disaccharide sugar derived from galactose and glucose. Lactose crystals have a characteristic tomahawk shape that can be observed with a light microscope. It is found mostly notably in cow milk. It makes up around 2-8% to of milk. It is used in the pharmaceutical industry. It is added to pills as a filler because of its physical properties and low price. Polysaccharides Polysaccharides are polymers of monosaccharides joined together by glycosidic linkage. These are known as glycans. Polysaccharides that are polymers of a single monosaccharide are called homopolysaccharides. A homopolysaccharide consisting of glucose monomeric units is called a glucan. Three important polysaccharides in which all are glucans starch, glycogen, and cellulose. They are polymers of glucose and differ from each other in molecular weight, the nature of linkage between glucose molecules, and degree of polymer chain branching. 
starch. It is a white amorphous powder, sparingly soluble in water. When heated with water, it produces a colloidal suspension from which two major components can be isolated. One component is called amylose and the other amylopectin. Amylose, it is soluble in water. It is a linear polymer of alpha-D-glucose. An amylose consists of more than 1000 D-glucopyranoside units, which are connected in alpha-glucosidic linkage between C1 of one unit and C4 of the next unit. Amylopectin It is water-soluble fraction of starch. Branching takes place between C6 of one glucose unit and C1 of another and occurs at intervals of 20 to 25 glucose units. It has a molecular weight of 1 to 6 million. Cellulose Cellulose is a linear polymer of D-glucose units joined by beta-glycosidic linkage. The chains are held together by hydrogen bonds between glucose units of adjacent strands. The arrangement of chains constitute the bundles. This tends rigidity to its structure. Cellulose is also formed by condensation of D-glucose units. It does not reduce Tollens reagent or Fehling's solution. It is not fermented by yeast. It cannot be hydrolyzed easily. When it is heated with dilute sulfuric acid under pressure, it undergoes hydrolysis and yields D-glucose. Glycogen Glycogen is a multi-branched polysaccharide that serves as a form of energy storage in animals and fungi. In humans, it is made and stored primarily in the cells of the liver and the muscles and functions as the secondary long-term energy storage. It is a polymer of glucose with 1,4-alpha-glucosidic linkage and having considerable chain branching. It is white powder, soluble in water. It gives purple color with iodine. Molecular weight of glycogen is very high and ranges from 2 into 10 raised to the power 5 to 10 raised to the power 8. It is found in nearly all animal tissues. Liver is the principal site in which it is stored. When body needs glucose for energy, enzymes break glycogen down to glucose. Importance of carbohydrates They act as biofuels to provide energy for functioning of living organism. They act as constituents of cell membrane. It helps in breakdown of fatty acids and preventing ketosis. Derivatives of cellulose are used in explosives, lacquers, celluloid and collodion. It helps in regulation of various metabolic processes in the body. Cellulose acetate is used in photographic film and packing materials. It is present in storage form of food in plants as starch. Proteins Proteins are the most abundant biomolecules of the living system. Chief sources of proteins are milk, cheese, pulses, peanuts, fish, meat, etc. They occur in every part of the body and form the fundamental basis of structure and functions of life. They are also required for growth and maintenance of body. Proteins perform a vast array of functions within living organisms, including catalyzing metabolic reactions, replicating DNA, responding to stimuli and transporting molecules from one location to another. Amino Acids These are amino-substituted carboxylic acids. The alpha amino acids are the building blocks of peptides and proteins. In alpha amino acids, the amino group is present on the alpha carbon atom. Amino acids are classified as neutral, 
acidic or basic depending upon the relative number of amino and carboxyl groups in the molecule neutral amino acid if the number of amino groups and carboxyl groups is equal in the molecule the amino acid is neutral for example glycine basic amino acid if the number of amino groups is more than carboxyl groups then the amino acid is basic for example lysine acidic amino acid if the number of amino groups is less than carboxyl groups then the amino acid is acidic for example aspartate essential and non essential amino acid amino acids can be synthesized by all living organisms plants and animals the amino acids which can be synthesized in the body are known as non essential amino acids many animals are not able to synthesize all the amino acids they need for their proteins those amino acids which cannot be synthesized in the body and must be obtained through diet are called essential amino acids for an adult human there are 10 essential amino acids deficiency of essential amino acids in the diet may cause diseases such as kwashiorkor peptide polypeptide and proteins enzymes can cause alpha amino acids to polymerize to give peptides through elimination of water molecule the conh linkage that forms between the amino acids is known as a peptide bond or peptide linkage amino acids when joined in this manner are called amino acid residues the polymers that contain many amino acid residues are called polypeptides polypeptides are linear polymers one end of a polypeptide chain terminates in an amino acid residue that has an nh2 group is known as n terminal the other terminates in an amino acid residue with cooh group is known as c terminal proteins are molecules that contain one or more polypeptide chains and have molecular mass higher than 10000 The precise order of bonding in a peptide is called its amino acid sequence. The amino acid sequence is specified by using three letter amino acid abbreviations for the respective amino acids and connected by hyphens. Classification of proteins. Proteins can be classified into two broad classes on the basis of their structure. fibrous proteins and globular proteins fibrous proteins when polypeptide chains run parallel and are held together side by side at many points by hydrogen and disulfide bonds a thread like structure is formed such proteins are called fibrous proteins they are insoluble in water they serve as the chief structural material of animal tissues for example keratin in skin hair nails horn and wool globular proteins the polypeptide chain in these proteins is folded around in such a manner so as to give the protein molecule almost spheroidal shape they have weak intermolecular forces they are soluble in water they catalyze biological reactions for example insulin and thyroglobin they act as regulators of metabolic processes for example maintains blood sugar level they act as antibodies and protect the body from diseases structures of proteins The structures of proteins are quite complex. There are four levels at which the structure of proteins can be described. Primary, 
secondary, tertiary, and quaternary structures. Primary structure The sequence in which various amino acids are arranged in a protein is called its primary structure. Any change in the sequence of amino acids creates different protein, which alters biological functions. Secondary structure It refers to shape in which a long polypeptide chain exists. They have two types of structures, alpha helix structure and beta pleated structure. The alpha helix structure results due to regular coiling of polypeptide chain which is stabilized by intramolecular hydrogen bonding, for example, keratin. In beta-pleated sheet structure, all peptide chains are stretched to nearly maximum extension and then arranged side by side and held together by intramolecular hydrogen bonding, for example, silk. Tertiary structure. It represents Further folding of the secondary structure. Quaternary structure. Some of the proteins are composed of two or more polypeptide chains, referred to as subunits. The spatial arrangement of these subunits with respect to each other is known as quaternary structure. Denaturation of proteins. Protein found in a biological system with definite configuration and biological activity is called native protein. When native protein is subjected to heat, change of pH, the soluble form of globular proteins undergoes coagulation to give fibrous proteins which are insoluble in water. The coagulation also causes loss in the biological activity of the protein. Therefore, coagulated proteins thus formed are called denatured proteins. The process that causes changes in physical as well as biological properties of proteins is called denaturation of proteins. For example, coagulation of egg on boiling and curdling of milk. Enzymes Enzymes are biological catalysts. They are generally globular proteins which act as biological catalysts in living systems. They have the remarkable ability to cause reactions to take place faster. For example, if enzymes were not present in our digestive tract, it would take about 50 years to digest a single meal. Some common and important characteristics of enzymes are Their action is highly specific. Each enzyme catalyzes only a specific reaction. Enzymes speed up uncatalyzed reaction to a very large extent. Their efficiency is maximum at about 310 K temperature at a moderate pH. Even very small amounts of an enzyme are sufficient to speed up a reaction. Mechanism of Enzyme Action The substrate molecule binds itself to the active sites on the surface of the enzyme. The active site in a given enzyme is so shaped that only a specific substrate can fit in it, just like a lock and key. The specific binding results in the formation of enzyme-substrate complex. Enzymes lower down the activation energy of the reaction. For example, activation energy of acid hydrolysis of sucrose is 6.22 kJ per mole, but activation energy is only 2.15 kJ per mole when hydrolysis takes place in presence of sucrase enzyme. Vitamins The organic compounds other than carbohydrates, proteins and fats that are necessary to maintain normal health, growth and nutrition are called vitamins. Vitamins are a group of organic compounds 
required in very small amounts for the healthy growth and functioning of animal organisms. Their absence causes specific deficiency diseases. The vitamins are complex organic molecules and are represented by letters such as A, B, C, D, E, H and K. Plants can synthesize all vitamins, but only a few are synthesized in animals. Vitamin D may be produced in the skin by irradiation of sterols with sunlight. Vitamins, their sources and deficiency diseases. Vitamin A is soluble in oils and fats, but insoluble in water. It is essential for growth and vision. Vitamin B1 is soluble in water and destroyed by heat. Vitamin B2 is soluble in water. It is stable to heat and destroyed by light. Deficiency of vitamin B6 causes nervous disturbances and convulsions. Vitamin B12 is soluble in water and also contains cobalt. It is red crystalline in nature. Vitamin C is soluble in water. It is destroyed by cooking and exposure to air. It maintains healthy skin and helps in development of body resistance against diseases. Vitamin D is soluble in fats and oils but insoluble in water. It is stable towards heat and oxidation. Vitamin E is soluble in fats and oils but insoluble in water. It is stable to heat and oxidation. Vitamin H is neither soluble in fat nor in water. Vitamin K is soluble in fats but insoluble in water. It is stable to heat and oxidation. Classification of vitamins Vitamins are classified into two types on the basis of their solubility. Fat-soluble vitamins The group includes vitamins A, D, E and K. The deficiency of these vitamins can cause malabsorptive disease. They are stored in liver and adipose tissues. Excess intake of these vitamins may cause hypervitaminosis. Water-soluble vitamins The group includes vitamins B and C. These are stored in much lesser amounts in the cells. They must be supplied regularly in diet because they are readily excreted in urine and cannot be stored in our body. Vitamin H is an exception since it is neither soluble in water nor in fat. Nucleic Acid Nucleic acids are long-chain polymers of nucleotides. They play an important role in transmission of hereditary characteristics and biosynthesis of proteins. Proteins combined with nucleic acids are called nucleoproteins. The nucleic acids are of two types, deoxyribonucleic acid and ribonucleic acid. Nucleic acids contain two types of N-containing heterocyclic bases, purine and pyrimidine. Purine bases Adenine and guanine belong to purine bases because they contain heterocyclic compound as present in purine. Pyrimidine It is the parent substance of a group of compounds which include cytosine, thiamine and uracil which are constituents of nucleic acids. DNA and RNA Deoxyribonucleic acid It contains a pentose sugar deoxyribose and adenine, guanine, thiamine and cytosine bases. A phosphate group is present at C5 of the sugar unit. The repeating units of deoxyribonucleotides are linked by phosphate group. Thus, they are the biopolymers of deoxyribonucleotides and have double helix structure of polynucleotides. The two strands of DNA are said to be complementary to each other. 
they are the carrier of genetic characteristics and send information and instruction to the cell for the synthesis of specific protein. Ribonucleic acid It contains ribose sugar, bases from pyrimidine bases and two bases from purine base. A phosphate group is present at C5 of the sugar unit. The repeating units ribonucleotides are linked by phosphate group. They are the polymers of ribonucleotide and have a single helix structure. RNA is associated with the process of learning and memory storage and helps in biosynthesis of protein. Biological functions of nucleic acid Heredity transfer The double helix of DNA is the storehouse of the genetic information of the organism. The process by which a DNA molecule produces two identical molecules of itself in the nucleus of the cell is called replication. Protein synthesis It plays a major role in the synthesis of protein. This is brought about in two steps. Transcription, which is copying of sequence of bases from the DNA strand on the RNA molecule is called transcription. Translation, in this process, mRNA directs protein synthesis in the cytoplasm of cell with involvement of transfer RNA and ribosomal particles. Did you know? The side of the DNA ladder is made of sugars and phosphate atoms. Our entire DNA sequence would fill 200 to 1000 page New York City telephone directories. Blood sugar levels are controlled by two hormones, glucagon and insulin, sent out by the pancreas. Summary let us summarize what we have learnt. The complex organic molecules which form the basis of life, which build up living organisms and are also required for their growth and maintenance are called biomolecules. Carbohydrates are defined as polyhydroxyaldehydes or polyhydroxyketones or the compounds which can be hydrolyzed to them. Glucose can be prepared by hydrolysis of cane sugar in the presence of alcohol using dilute hydrochloric acid. The change in specific rotation of an optically active compound to an equilibrium value is known as muta rotation. The conversion of sucrose into equimolar mixture of glucose and fructose is accompanied by change in sign of optical rotation is known as as inversion of sugar. Glycogen is a multi-branched polysaccharide that serves as a form of energy storage in animals and fungi. The organic compounds other than carbohydrates, proteins and fats that are necessary to maintain normal health, growth and nutrition are called vitamins. Nucleic acids are long-chain polymers of nucleotides. They play an important role in transmission of hereditary characteristics and biosynthesis of proteins.